Now let us see you are given x is positive which of the following could be the correct ordering of these numbers. What would be the best way to start this problem please start. Straight up pick numbers. And something else. Break up the statements. Sorry? Break up the statements. You could break up the statements. Nice. That is also possible. You are saying put the equality sign so that you know what values to pick up. What else can you do? Which statement is very difficult to prove in this case? First or second or third? If. So that means there is no randomization required here. You must be able to try some values for sure. Remember one thing for the graph of 1 by x, what is the critical point? Where does it really change the shape? 1. Right? When x is equal to 1, it will be a big problem here because it just suddenly will change. So, when I say 1 is the point just below 1 and just above 1, I must check. So, I must check x is equal to 0 0.9 and I must check x is equal to 1.1. If 1 by x is involved. What are the other critical points? So, these are the 7 points apart from these. If 1 by x is involved, these are the 2 points you will use. Apart from that, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1 by 2, 0, 1 by 2. This is your standard set of numbers that you can use always. Okay, if 1 by x is involved, then make the set 9 different values. I hope it is clear. Now, my first thing is x is positive, so let me forget all this. What is my first number to plug in? 1 by 2. Does 1 by 2 satisfy this? Please check. The first statement is 1 by 2 satisfying it. So that means, and you are asked could be or must be, what is the thing? So that is only one value. This is good enough, so this is okay. 1 is happening. If you use 1 by 2 for the second statement, will it be satisfied or not? If you use 1 by 2 for the <coughs> second statement, will it be satisfied? No. So, do not go to 1 because 1 by x is involved. So, what is the next number I should use? If 1 by x is involved, what are the other two? No? So, try 0 0.9 here. 0 0.9 square is 0 0.81. 1 by 0 0.9 is around 1.1 and 0.9 into 2 is 1.8. So, 0 0.81 is less than 1.1 and less than 1.8. Yes or no? So, this is satisfied. You try this for 1 by 2, 0 0.9, 1, 1 1.1 and 2. If it is satisfied by even one number, it is okay. If it is not satisfied, this will never be satisfied. Try this out please. I am not sure, I am not sure means as in as a student you will not be sure that 1 by 2 will So, just check quickly, it is very very fast if I check this one for example, this will become if I take 1 by 2, so 1, 1 by 4 anyway not right, do not have to check any further. If I take 0 0.9, 1.8 less not possible, if I take 1, 2 is less than 1 not possible, if I take 2, 1.1 for example, do you agree it will not satisfy? And for 2 also it will not satisfy. Simple. So, I do not have to even put values in this one. These are not satisfied directly for any one. So, that means the third statement will never be satisfied for any other number. So, you might have a logical question. What if it is satisfied for x equal to 78? Right? What if it is satisfied for x equal to 2 lakhs 30 thousand something? I do not know. So, so, what is the answer then? What is the answer? Yeah. No, that is fine, but that is why I am asking what if it is satisfied for 10 or something. So, do you agree that this number will go on be becoming smaller and smaller and smaller? That means for x equal to 10, it is impossible to satisfy this and for a larger number. So, you should know that for a larger number it is impossible. Another thing 
if you use this comprehensive set you will be able to solve every problem you should start believing that beyond this if it is not satisfied it will not be satisfied for any other number this is the most comprehensive set of value checks okay so suppose it is still not convincing some people like algebra so let's put it that way so let's see what i'm trying to do let's do it by algebra first let's divide it into two parts let's divide this into two parts this and this x square is less than 2x and 2x is less than 1 by x right because x is positive can i directly cancel remember that because it's positive only so x is less than 2 if i use this 2x square is less than 1 that is x square is less than 1 by 2 so x is less than 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 is always 0.7 you should know that value so x is less than 0.7 is there a common solution to x is less than 2 and x is less than 0.7 what is the common solution so x is less than 0.7 is always going to be satisfied all that is why x equal to 1 by 2 satisfied it you may try it for the other ones also x square is less than 1 by x so that is one value and 1 by x is less than 2x let's do it quickly okay this is also fast i said it is totally up to you to use algebra or numbers now x square is less than 1 by x is x cube less than 1 so x is less than 1 x in this case 2x square is greater than 1 so x square is greater than 1 by 2 so x is greater than 1 by so x is greater than 0.7 So what do I get? X is less than one, and X is greater than. That is why. What was the number that satisfied here? All right. 